I couldn't find my record button. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm sitting here like, where's my button to press the record? And it was behind my cup of coffee. Anyways, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're feeling well, especially as we come to the end of this particular journey with Bill Nelson's Red Noise. We are coming to the end with the last track here, Revolt in Style. If you're going to rebel, if you're going to revolt, you better look good doing it. <laughs> good because, the, because the revolution will be televised. Ah! Anyways. Let's go ahead and uh, pop into the song. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this album. It definitely took a little bit of warming up for me, but once it got warm, it got warm. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and listen to the final track. We will definitely talk about it after. Hope that you've enjoyed it. And uh, let's go ahead and finish it out. Here we go. I gotta say, I I really don't think that this album could have ended in a better way off of that. Because I, I think that this track captures everything that the band has been putting out in this album up to this point. The kind of electric, digital clutter, glitchy sound that they have throughout. A great swing, a great groove, a great rhythm. And then this kind of opening in the end of the track that kind of gets away from, for lack of a better word, this futuristic paranoia that the, the tone, at least that's what it's feeling to me, it kind of gets away from that and kind of opens itself as the, the music actually opens out of that, comes out of its shell, kind of takes this last deep breath, sigh of relief, 
and then it's gone. I think that this track kind of captures the the mood, the technology, everything that we've heard before. It's a great summation of all the parts that we heard. The the heaviness of it. I, I love this. And then the... Right? Like, that is fun. And then the way that, especially the bass groove comes out of that. Boom, 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 boom. It has this very particular swing that I find, like, very enticing to listen to. Like, you want that to just keep going. It's one of those sounds, it's one of those dynamics that you don't really get tired of. And the band doesn't allow you to because they're always changing up the formula. One thing I was thinking about while listening to this track is, obviously we all know at this point how impressive Bill Nelson is as a guitarist. But let's take that a step further. Especially sonically with this track and the, the whole tone of this album, with almost how sporadic it sounds electronically. Don't you think that it's like extremely impressive, not only the way that he creates these soundscapes with his guitar and, you know, the synth guitar and all that stuff, and of course the other band members, but the way that he maneuvers through it. Because if I'm listening to this, like the atmosphere to me is cluttered, and I don't mean that in a bad way, it's just very dense, everything's very compact, there's just so much going on, at least it feels that way. And the way that he maneuvers through all that, the way that he cuts through, I think is is very impressive and possibly an underrated aspect of the technical capabilities and the prowess of Mr. Nelson in his in his creation of the soundscapes but also the way of flying through them like an x-wing on the death star like he's just he's like a remember the game snake you guys remember the little cell phone game I mean I know it's older than that but the little cell phone game you would play snake on your Nokia right remember that and like eventually you get to a certain point where you're trying not to run into your own tail that's what I'm getting to with Bill Nelson and this album. Constantly eating apples, constantly growing longer and longer. And you would think at certain points he's going to Ouroboros and run into himself. No, 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 no. He never does. Somehow he finds that one path through the clutter, through the tail, and he keeps on going and gets the high score. And I think that this particular track at the end of the album is a high score. I, that's, a, that's a great brought that whole thing full circle the posters on your wall mark every fashion's rise and fall why try to keep the past alive and though i know the time is almost 1984 it feels like 1965. the music in my room is always slightly out of tune my harmony is up on trial and though i know the rhythm you'd prefer me dancing to i'll turn my revolt into style now i'm thinking it's just me i i think that this is possibly also a a message to perhaps audiences, fans. Hey, you may not have expected this sound from me at this point, but guess what? I'm revolting. I'm doing my own thing. But you gotta admit, I'm looking good doing it. I'm sounding great doing it. I may not have everything in tune. It may not be perfectly harmonized. That's not what I'm going for. This is my art. This is what I've created. Accept it or deny it. I hear the voice of America telling me to hurry. I don't know. Should I stay or should I go? Social scientists say New York is dying. It's retiring in an artificial glow. Psychoanalysts, TV panelists, maybe I'd like it for a while. Locked in a motor car, drunk in a piano bar, turn my revolt into style. The video is showing pictures from some other world, but it's okay. Don't touch that dial. Your magazine is interviewing one of several girls who've turned their revolts into style. The mirrors in my eyes are always focused in surprise. My mouth is covered by a smile. You'll never know what lies behind these public alibis. I'll turn my revolt in the style. Even looking at the, the full lyrics, I, I really think that that's what this comes down to. It's just, Bill, hey, here's my art, my revolts in style. Accept or deny it. And this I accept. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed listening to the album alongside with me. I hope you enjoyed the music itself. Um... I would assume if you got this far in listening to it, if you got to the last track after we've listened to this, I mean, I'm assuming you've you've enjoyed it, or at least you've been curious enough to uh, continue diving on it with me. So thank you guys for being here. Of course, you can let me know your thoughts in the comments. You can follow me in a few places here on the screen. Please come back tomorrow, and I'll see you all later, guys. Bye.